people welcome to my channel i'm pretty sure that from this big smile of mine you must have realized what this video is about this video is about our channel crossing 1 lakh subscribers and i'm telling you guys this is insane you know when i started this youtube channel i just wanted it to be a small community where a few literature lovers would interact and we would share our views about literature that's what i wanted this to be and i'm so excited to see that this channel has now crossed 1 lakh subscribers that means there are 1 lakh people in india even today who are as enthusiastic about literature as i am and i'm so 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 happy to see that we all managed to come together in this youtube space and we got to you know know each other better know and exchange our views about literature so thank you so much for being a part of this fantastic journey i still remember from day one i've been reading comments of all my um followers all my subscribers and you guys have given some insane amount of love to me like the comments i have always cherished each and every comment even though i did not had so much time to reply back to each of you but i have actually read all of your comments and i'm so 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 happy to see the kind of love and affection you have for me and it's the same okay so it's mutual i am in love with the kind of people i'm interacting on youtube on a daily basis and the way we have now become a big family because it's not just about uh, this channel anymore it's about this love for literature that we all are trying to spread across the world on top of that what excites me today is that the channel is 1 year old almost 1 year old and um, you know this one year journey has been fantastic and one request i've been receiving from all of you is that you guys always want to know more about me i've been talking about my love for literature in almost all the videos but you don't know me as a person and you guys have been asking for me asking me to make a video in which i can talk about some fun facts related to my life so i thought of making a video on this special occasion as a giveaway to all of you who have shown immense love and affection to this channel so in this video i'm going to talk about some fun facts about me and since i'm a literature lover i'm pretty sure that all of you who are watching this video can connect to me and if you can then don't forget to put your views and thoughts in the comment section below and i'll be extremely glad to hear what you think about it and can you connect with me because when i look at other other people of my generation i feel left out i actually feel as if i am from some other generation and i can actually not understand what is this world is going through like the kind of views the youngsters share these days the concept of love it's very different from what notions i have got from my family from my books and from literature as whole well. so i'm pretty sure that the dilemmas and the questions that i have in my mind you guys also face the same thing every day so why not share the agony together so i'm going to talk about 10 fun facts about me and i'm pretty sure that you're going to like it and if not then please let me know what you want to make me next so that i can share with all my viewers with all my subscribers so here it goes the first fun fact about me is that i'm from jaipur there are a lot of students who contact me on a daily basis and the first question they ask is that okay so you from delhi when can i meet you and i'm like no man i'm from jaipur okay i am not from delhi i have been visiting delhi a few times i've been visiting mumbai a few times but personally saying i don't like the concept of this metro city uh, i find that the life is too fast and i cannot be uh, a part of that uh, rat race i'm more of a person who loves to be in a two tier city or maybe a city which is much quieter and slow just like the lake poets like william wordsworth and coleridge enjoyed to be in the lake society similarly i love being in a two tier city maybe you know a city like jaipur i really personally like jaipur and the kind of atmosphere we have in jaipur though it's extremely hot 
but except the weather condition, everything else in Jaipur I'm in love with. So if you are planning to come to Jaipur, then we can definitely meet. If you're coming to Delhi, then I would suggest you that Jaipur do nahi hai. You can come down to Jaipur as well. The next thing I would like to talk to you about is my love for animals. I'm an animal lover. You know, I recently visited Mumbai and there was this cafe, a cafe of dogs. Okay, and I visited that cafe and I'm so happy to see so many dogs around me. And there's this beautiful line in the cafe that even humans are allowed. So that's a cafe specifically for dogs. But then humans can come and go if they wish. So I'm, I'm that kind of person. Uh, and I think that this love for animal actually came because of my my contact with literature because when I read literature and when I look at this way uh, authors talk about society I feel as if you know society is full with evil things there are so many hypocrites living around us okay so there are faces meeting faces in the words of T.S. Eliot and I find myself so drawn towards the community of animals I find them extremely loyal and I feel so connected and so safe in their company. So maybe it's the love of literature which ignited my love for animals. Another interesting thing about me is that I'm not a social person. Uh, I know that quite a lot of you have sent me friend requests on Instagram, on Facebook, and you might have got disappointed when you saw that I did not accept it. So I would like to tell you that I actually don't accept friend requests uh, and I actually am not so much on the social media, okay? Even WhatsApp, like my WhatsApp uh, will blink once in a while. It's as simple as that. So I really don't maintain so much contact with people and uh, the reason behind it is, is that I find this entire social media thing very artificial. We only share what we wish to share. We would never share what exactly is. So we don't share our real picture. We would only share the glamorous life of ours. So I really don't like this concept and that is why I keep myself away from social media. I occasionally come there, I would post a few pictures and then I would disappear. Okay, so I, I actually I'm not a very social person. I would rather love to sit with two people and chat about life, about philosophical concepts for hours rather than going through the news feed of Facebook. So I'm that kind of person. And maybe that's another trait which I've inherited from literature and from a lot of authors who've been isolated throughout their lifetime. Since I'm a YouTuber, I'm pretty sure you must be eager to know my favorite YouTuber. So as of now, I really love the work of Prajakta Poli. She's running a YouTube channel called Mostly Sane. And I really love uh, her videos, like every video, but my favorite ones are the Real Talk Tuesday. Apart from that, my best friend Malvika Singh recently joined uh, YouTube and she is also running a channel called Books in My Bath. The link of the same is given in the description box below so you can go and check out her channel because she posts some amazing videos on book reviews and body washes. So I really love the way she talks about books and she you know discusses those minute details from each and every book so these are two good youtubers which i really love you know, watching and i would recommend you that if you are a book lover as well then these are the two channels you should go to another fun fact about me i'm a leo so i was born on 13th of august and uh, i categorize myself as an extreme leo because i've got all the traits that you will see in a leo personality i'm ambitious i'm very competitive in that sense i'm very inclined towards uh, leadership roles and i love you know working and uh, passionately making new stuff creating new ideas leading teams so all these things really excite me i've been the head girl of my school so i've been leading all the houses and all the competitions that used to happen at that time so that's how i would like to present myself to you i'm not inclined towards the femininity uh, that's there inside me i'm more towards the masculinity so i rather would like to have male friends than the female friends because 
gossip and fashion these are not the things i would ever want to talk about but the next thing i would like to talk about is my love for driving uh, you know i just got a new car for myself and i can't tell you how much i love driving okay i've been driving since past 3 years and i have never got fed up of it i would never sit next to the driver i need to have the driving seat and i need to have the hold of the steering i love driving road trips or something which excites me as always and um, you know if i have a fabulous company next to me then that's the cherry on the cake another interesting fact about me is that i don't love coffee there's a huge misconception that literature books are associated with coffee so if you're a book lover you need to be a coffee lover that's not the case with me i don't like coffee at all uh, i'm more a person who is inclined towards sweets so i would rather have a milk shake rather than having a coffee and i like everything which is sweet it has to be sweet be it chocolate be it mithai be it anything it has to have sugar and i would love it another interesting fact about me is that i'm a list person i'm a very organized very systematic human being i cannot do some random stuff i need to have a proper system and only then i can actually do a task even in my youtube videos you must have noticed there's a beginning there's a middle there's an end and everything comes in pointers so i'm a very list person sometimes i feel as if i need to make a list of all the lists that i have i love making time tables i love following all these things systematically following the daily routine and uh, i feel as if somewhere in my past birth i was into army or something because i have got all those traits in myself and when i read psychology i sometimes feel as if i am an ocd personality type because i'm very organized and i'm very specific about all these things so maybe that cleanliness and the systematic thing in my personality is because i'm an inclined towards ocd so that's another interesting thing that i would like you to know about me apart from reading books what i love doing in my free time is watching movies and television series so i'm in love with a lot of movies dear zindagi dead poet society these are my favorites apart from that when it comes to tv series suits is something i really love so you must have diagnosed it since i'm a leo i connect so much to how is specter in suits so i'm in love with that character apart from that there have been a lot of movies uh, that are very close to my heart forest gum is one of them so if you are really uh, you know interested to like um, literature you can actually start mo watching movies which are based on the books and then you know maybe read the book so that's how you can develop your interest in book reading so uh, books and movies and tv series these are some hobbies or some things which i mostly do in my past time apart from literature i love psychology and i love reading uh, self help books a lot okay so it's like literature is my wife and psychology is my mistress so i love both of them and uh, it is because of my interest in psychology that i was able to understand literature and people so much better and if you have seen even in my audio lectures that i talk a lot about psychology and how to understand human brain i'm so much into this law of attraction concepts and how to make yourself a better person and learning from the autobiographies of these great men so all these things are what excites me apart from reading some really really good books now it's time for me to finally reveal before you the big surprise uh last year if you have noticed that on my social media pages i shared a poster of counseling okay so we were giving this free counseling to students who are facing any life issue may maybe it's relationship or exam phobia or anxiety or anything of that sort we were actually uh, helping them come out of these issues talk about them and sort their life okay so i hired an entire counseling team and we started this free platform and within no time we were amazed to see the results it produced people felt so better they were able to sort out their life and they started feeling happy they started enjoying every moment and that is the moment when i 
uh, was excited to start another project and that is called counselingthose.com. So the big surprise for you is that now with arpatakarwa.com, we have another interesting platform for you that is counselingthose.com. The website is live. You can check that out. It's all about making yourself a better person. So we are going to help you in every area of your life. If you're facing any issue, any tension, we have solutions for all of them. We have made an entire counseling cell where some really amazing counselors will help you to declutter your life and I'm so excited about this project because you know in this project I can actually share what literature has taught me all these years so I'm also starting another YouTube channel which is with the same name counseling dose the link is also given in the description box below and in that channel i'm going to share some amazing videos about how to increase your productivity how to become successful how to face exam anxiety and lot more so if you are interested to become a better version of yourself then do subscribe to that channel and there we are going to build another fabulous community where we guys are going to become better every day the love for literature actually ignited me to make this platform because literature is all about learning from the great works and then applying those things in your life. Unless and until you don't apply those things in your life, how are these books going to change you? So that practical application of literary concepts is what we are going to do in the next channel that is counseling those. So I invite you all to Join me in the bandwagon when we start counseling those and let's make this world a better place to live in. Also, I would like to tell you one thing that this platform, Counseling Dose and the website is going to remain free for all my students throughout the life. Because I want that since it's you guys who actually inspired me to develop this platform, it should be a giveaway from your my side that it should always be free for you. So whenever you face any problem, any doubt in your life, we are just a call away. So that's it for this video lecture. It was really fun sharing with you all these facts about my life and I'm pretty sure you must have had this connection with me now. So if you find that you're very similar to me or very different from me in any aspect that we just discussed, put that in the comment section below and I'll be really happy to read them. So that's it for this video lecture. We are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next. Happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarmar.com.